Hey everyone, it's Deagle Beagle. So, I competed in a tournament today and I did use the normal Imprison and DD with Tyranitar, but I'm trying to come up with other ways to counter this because it's going to be probably the most common thing in tournaments now. People just use DD Armor, <laughs> Armor Rouge. It is a pretty good combo, but like if everyone's trying to counter it maybe not okay so here are some counters i don't know why i didn't really think of this before terra dark or terra resistant to fire on a dark mon so maybe it's because i'm a veteran and back in my day we didn't normally terra to survive stuff we actually got the right pokemon to do it without having a terra and just use that as an impromptu solution which is fine it's just sometimes i wish pokemon was kind of like how it was before all the z move dynamax terra stall stuff so you could actually use niche pokemon like umbreon or houndoom since there's terra stalls it doesn't make certain pokemon have a niche very well because you could just use the terra stall and not have to use Umbreon or Houndoom, which is otherwise kind of bad in general. Tyranitar is the exception, is like one of the only exceptions to that because it has pretty good typing. Well, its typing actually defensively is not great, but it has such great stats and decent moves and stuff that it makes up for it and isn't four times weak to anything, unlike Roaring Moon and other stuff. Um, Roaring Moon, I would probably avoid in, in Hydreigon, especially if you don't have a Salt Vest, because they're just going to use Dazzling Gleam, possibly, with Ndidi, and a lot of them are Terra Fairy, because they use that to wall Dark moves, trying to one-shot Ndidi. And Pelipper with Wide Guard can shut down Expanding Force and the Armor Cannon, so that's a pretty good idea, but... I don't think Pelipper is very high, high tier because of all the freeze drag going around. I mean, you could use Sash with it, but e let's say you do survive a freeze dry with Sash. Are you really putting enough damage output with it? With Hydro Pump and Hurricane, or whatnot, if Hydro Pump even hits, or Surf, or whatever you want to use? Probably not, because they could just have a Pokemon like Iron Hands wall you or some assault vest pokemon and then you're not really getting much damage off i know you do have rain for your team so it's a sacrifice you might have to make but i just don't think pelipper's worth it in this metagame maybe and then misty terrain or electric terrain or, or grassy manual terrain so there's moves those moves you could use to mess up their terrain like Grimmsnarl learns it and it also learns light screen light screen is a good way to also well when I say counter I mean these are things that cause problems for it not necessarily you just slap light screen on your team and say oh I have an indeedy armor counter no you probably don't you probably also need like psychic resistances or something to go along with that and then here are some more ideas. So there's Ice Spinner. There's even Steam. No, it's not Steam. Is it Steam? Steel Roller. My bad. It's Steel Roller. I don't know what I'm thinking. And by the way, Pokemon Home, I think, might be out really soon as I'm making this video. I had to battle on Showdown today because of that for the tournament for some matches. Okay, Pincursion is not really a counter along with some of these that don't say check next to them might be checks too i mean really everything's a check in this list because just having tyranitar or just having umbreon that's not really the best thing that you can counter all by itself is probably pelipper because it has the rain and it has wide guard so they're not going to be able to expanding force or do much damage with armor cannon but pretty much everything else is a check. You need like two Pokemon probably to counter and that's why it's hard to counter because 
expanding force is just kind of broken and especially with like follow me and stuff and you and it could run so many different moves like it could have wide guard and all these other moves it's kind of hard to counter it unless you have open team sheets and imprisoning imprison and dd is a good way to help shut it down because especially if you use psychic seed because it walls them really well and they can't follow me or psychic or trick room on their team so that's why i was using that to help shut them down because i i also think that imprison and dd is the best imprison user overall but there are other decent ones like for rig and stuff but I don't know if I would even imprison with any other Pokemon except Ndidi because Ndidi you can imprison their follow me too which is really useful and you force them to switch out lose their psychic seed if they use it or just forcing them to switch in general and and that's really bad for them so when I would use um, Tyranitar and imprison Ndidi to stop these freaking ND Armorouge bots that would do its job and I didn't lose to NDD today I lost to forget what I lost to um, I think I just oh I lost to Quash Murkrow with Goldango I was thinking Tailwind and I should have checked the team sheet better and he also had Quash and I was going to hit him with a Terra Ground drill, drill Run from Band Lycanroc, but I could have just switched out Tyranitar to Ndidi, but I would have had to pick Ndidi in the first place. And to think of all that, I would have had to look closer at the team sheet. And to even, even if I did, I don't know if I would have thought about that because I've never had that issue for that team where there was a quash problem. Anyways, that's a side tangent. Some more ideas on how to beat Indeed Armorage. I used to use Terra Bug with Helping Hand Ally to one shot either the Indeed or the um, Armorage. I believe Fairy resists Bug though. Let, let me double check the, the typing chart. So normally they don't Terra Fairy. That was back before all the open team she was. Um, fairy. Let's see, bug versus fairy. Yeah, fairy resists it. So you better hope they don't uh, tear a fairy. Usually they don't, even if it's open team sheets, because they don't think about the helping hand plus the Terra bug plus the bug buzz. But they should, you would think, and tear a fairy to wall that. But I don't know why they don't. <laughs> So I guess that's not a really reliable counter, but a powerful bug move would force them to use their Terra Fairy early on, and then you kind of know that they you know that they can't Terra with something else. So so there is that, and Propeller Tail, Rariscuta is one way to go through Follow Me, but. I don't know about that. It's probably too fragile for it to work well. And you would have to predict correctly of them leading with a follow me user. So good luck. Psychic resist, that's a lot more common. Psychic Pokemon resist psychic, for example. And trick air balloon on the Arma. Here's why. Because well that may not work actually because of follow me. But I remember somebody used Terra Flying Armor Reach with Expanding Force, and it kept only hitting one of my Pokemon. And I didn't know it was because he Terra Flying. I, I think he uses it to be a, immune to ground, but <clears throat> that's a really dumb idea because you have to be grounded to get the, the Expanding Force boost and have it hit both enemies. So... Don't use Terra Fire in D, uh, Armor Rouge, I mean. And I think a balloon would do the same thing. So that was my idea once I saw that. And then Assault Vest 
also help did I say wide guard I already said wide guard kind of but Pelipper wide guard wide guard whatever okay so assault vest is a is a good way to wall it so if you use something like assault vest dragonite with ice spinner then you should do pretty well against NDD armorage especially if you have like um another Pokemon that walls them already like Tyranitar with it or whatever NDD armor which or something with I mean NDD with it I don't know something so uh, that's pretty much it I think on how to counter NDD armor which if you don't have one of these things you probably won't counter it but I suppose snarl might be a snarl as a counter kind of because you're forcing them to wide guard snarl or struggle bug and then maybe a why is it doing that a powerful uh spread move to make them have to terror but that's not really a solution necessary i mean maybe in the long run it's a solution but in the short run that's not necessarily a solution because they could just tear grass versus your whatever Garchomp earthquake and that's not necessarily a counter and they could wide guard too so it's like that combo is kind of annoying because of the redirection plus the follow me follow me and the white it's like you got to guess at what it's kind of doing but with certain teams you don't even have to guess that much if you just use like Indeedee Tar or something else or Terra, if you use Terra Dark Amoongus and they don't have like Terra Grass or Safety Goggles Indeedee, then you should beat that pretty easily. But every Indeedee Armorage is different. That's the problem. It's like if there's no open team sheet, it makes it hard, much harder to deal with. So thanks for watching.